enemy! It's almost harmonised. <laughs> this week's new enemy is my current lack of songwriting. As you know if you watch this channel on a regular basis, I like to write silly songs and I've not been doing very much of that of late, but I shall rectify that today with the man to my right, which is of course Sir Peter of Buckinghamshire, uh, aka yeah. Pete Jams. Hello Pete Jams. Oh, it's good to be here. We're going to write some songs harnessing the power of Twitter. You guys have been helping us out so much with uh, topics that you've been sending us, not having any idea what they're for, but now you will. You'll realise how vital you are to this video. Because we're going to do the improv challenge, which I watched on Todrick Call's channel with the guys from Superfood, but we're going to do it with a slight change. We're going to do it with a guitar. We're going to sing a song about armpits. Oh! Armpits are wonderful, and we need them to survive. Armpits are here and that's the reason I'm alive They can carry your pretty bow I hope I still have my armpits when I'm old Some guy called Gary C. Ever heard of him? We're only joking. Uh, hey! He wants us to write a song about toothpaste. You clean my teeth, but aren't nice to eat. You're full of fluoride, I think, but I'm not very good at science, so I'm not entirely sure. But you keep me clean. Not my body, just my teeth. Which outlive everything in my body when I die This song just got really dark Someone called Carrie Hope Fletcher Oh yeah! Oh yeah, we know her! Yeah, yeah, we know her! Oh yeah! She wants us to write a song about curly hair My favourite shape is a square But I still like curly hair I feel like Carrie's the first person that we've let down in our songwriting. Oh, that's a shame. We'll apologise to you now. But she has her own song over on Gary's channel, over on my channel. This is my channel. Oh, yeah. Carrie's song. So she's got a song. So, song, song. Her. so yeah, that's, that's, that's your, that's your that's song, fine. Carrie. Sorry, thank you. Someone's asked us to sing a song about chicken, but I feel like we've sang a lot about Chinese chicken today. Oh, yeah. Check out his channel for that vid. My video's got really dark. Look how dark it is. My video just got brighter cause I turned the ISO up. Yes, I do. Badgers. So they're black and white. They might give you a fright. I also heard that they bite. Never in the day, only at night. Crazy golf. You can't have a mini golf course without a windmill. Well, tiny little cars and little kids getting annoyed. Having fun with your family. Playing a game that's fun to see. Oh, it's a fantasy. Is it a fantasy? I think it's, it's, it's a fantasy, 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 fantasy. 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 Cats. I like dogs and I like cats. There's always a war between us. I like to meow and I like to bark. Sometimes I say wow and sometimes I say <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> Quantum mechanics. I know. <clears throat> I gave him the wrong key. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I know absolutely nothing about quantum mechanics. No. It's really complicated, and I don't give an about it. It's probably really important, but I don't.
rest of myself. Selfish! <laughs> Fingernails, doorbells, hell, chocolate, biscuits, have fun video making. I feel like it's not all of those in one song, because that could be really hard. We should. We could try. We could try. Well, I press my fingernail into a doorbell. Nice. I ate some chocolate and made me feel like I was in hell. Was there biscuits in your chocolate, mate? <laughs> there was chocolate in my biscuit, mate. Chocolate in my biscuit. Chocolate in my biscuit. Chocolate in my biscuit. Chocolate in my biscuit. Oh, oh, oh. Chocolate in his biscuit. We're gonna do one about bad habits. Do you pick your nose? Well, you shouldn't. Do you wipe your bum? Do you pick your nose? Well, you shouldn't. Do you bite your nails? Well, I wouldn't. Do you stare at your friends and your parents? Well, don't. Do you? Do you? Do. do you have bad habits? Yes, I do. Why do you have bad habits? Cause I'm a human being and I wouldn't lie to you. Our songwriting abilities. I feel like there's potential. I'm gonna throw it out there. Which of those songs do you think should be turned into a full on number slash song, depending if it's a musical or a pop song? Please let me know in the syllabus below. I really enjoyed doing this. I was so nervous and I'm so glad I did this. And you went for it and you came up with some absolute gold. There was some, there was some like little nuggets in there, right? Little nuggets. <laughs> Truth nuggets, talent nuggets, mm. all the nuggets. Quiet! Hey! This would not be an Ivy Books and Nightclubs video without a book recommendation. I'm going to create a space here so that it can appear. What's your book recommendation? My, my book recommendation is a very good book. It's called The Meaning of Lift. Ah! But you've already had The Meaning of Lift. Yes, but we books. love Douglas Adams. We here. do love Douglas, Douglas Adams. So right now we're going to like. That should have gone away. Oh yeah, that's right. gone. Yeah, I don't. There's not going to be any smoke effect. It's just literally going to disappear. <laughs> and what will take its place is a new book. Oh. By my girlfriend. Oh. Carrie Hope Fletcher. Very nice. Called On the Other Side. Are you telling us exclusively that you've read it? I have. Oh. It fit. It's really good. It's. I'm so jealous. It's like everything that you imagine to be in Carrie's mind, like the sort of magic and that kind of thing comes across in that book. It's a genuinely amazing book by a brilliant author, so. I cannot wait to read that book. That's almost everything for this week. Thank you as always for tuning in. This week in the syllabub, I want to know which of those songs you think should be turned into a number one hit. Keep your book recommendations and silly questions coming in. And as always, put your comments, ramblings and musings in the syllabub. This week's silly question came from Kira and she asked, which one of you has the better hair flip? This will determine which one of you will be better in a boy band. I'm gonna have to take the hairspray out of my hair so that this is fair. Oh yeah. Three, two, one. <sighs> Who do you think has the better hair flip there? You did a whole like way around, I just sort of went. Yeah, but I feel, I feel like you've got naturally more flickable hair. She boppers, let me know below in the cell. Have you got an extra question now? Yeah. Who's got a better hair flip? Don't feel you need to be nice to me just because it's my channel. Next week, coming to you from Aberdeen, Lucy Hughes. Yes, Your Honour. You are found guilty of trying to make people happy. I sentence you to... Oh, it doesn't seem to be an actual crime. Off you go. <laughs>